The New York Jets have lost 12 straight games as underdogs against the AFC East. Can they pull off the upset this Sunday in Miami against the Dolphins? We're here to break it down for you guys from a sports betting perspective. Give you guys my pick and my prediction in the game. This is Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I also have a promo code to tell you guys about at the end of the video. But for now, if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. But also, let us know in the comment section, who do you guys like in this game? There's so many different angles you can take with player props, team totals, you name it. And we're always interested to see who you guys like in any given game. So let us know in the comment section. Wager Talk Live Odd Screen has the Dolphins as 8.5 point home favorites. Total has dropped significantly. We're down to 37.5. Obviously, that revolves a lot around the Tyreek Hill injury. This game, to me, pretty much this entire game revolves around Will Hill. Hill's going to give it a go, let's face it, but will he be limited? Will he be his full self? Will he be in and out of the game like he was the other night, like we saw? Last time these two teams met on Black Friday, a little over three weeks ago, we were all over this game. We were on Wager Talk today. We talked about Dolphins over their team total, Dolphins covering the big number, and they did. They handled their business 34-13. But boy, seems like a completely different time now. I mean, Tim Boyle was the starting quarterback for the Jets back then. It's before the Zach Wilson resurgence, before the Tyreek Hill injury, before the Dolphins lost their starting center, Connor Williams, for the season with an ACL injury. That was a big loss for them the other night. We saw Tua mishandle that snap. And obviously they, they lost the ball on that one. And obviously they'll they'll have a week to work on it, but... You're starting center out, that's not too good. And obviously, Tyreek Hill, that's that's the big one in this game. That's what I keep coming back to in this game, and I don't know how you could do anything but do that. Zach Wilson coming off the best game of his career, hands down, 301 yards, two touchdowns, no picks, and a 30-6 to victory over the Houston Texans. They take advantage of the Stroud concussion. They take home the victory, 30-6. to And that's hands down the best I've ever seen Zach Wilson look personally. Easily his career best game, that's for sure. However, Jets are only 1-3 and 1 ATS on the road this season. Dolphins 4-1 and one ATS at home, and they have a 21.4 average margin of victory. They're crushing people, crushing teams at home. However, that's all, all that damage was done with Tyreek Hill, and you can't help but get around it. He, that offense looked... Very different. They have a lot of weapons, but it seems like he's the one that keeps everyone moving. And this, to me, this entire game revolves around the Tyreek Hill injury. So, guys, use the promo code GIFT25. Get $25 off of any seven-day pass on WagerTalk or SportsMemo.com. That's GIFT25, G-I-F-T, 25. You can get a seven-day all-access pass on SportsMemo for me right now for only $52 with that code. I have an NBA pickup tonight, 8-2 and two run in the NBA. I'll also have my first bowl pickup soon, 10-3 and three college football season. Very proud of that. We're looking to keep the run going in our first bowl selection. So check that all out. Use the code over at sportsmemo.com. My official play for this one, it's a lean, guys. I'm going to go Dolphins plus the 8.5. I don't think Hill's going to be completely right. It's not something I'm rushing to the window for. You know, it's it's a lean at best, but I'll take the Dol I'll take the Jets with the eight and a half points. Dolphins, I think they pull off the victory regardless, but it's going to be by late less than eight and a half if Hill isn't you know completely hundred percent healthy in this one. I'd also look towards maybe Zach Wilson over props potentially on his passing yards. He may need to throw to keep up with this one, especially if Hill is himself in this game. You know he's going to give it a go, but will he be at full one hundred percent? It's the big question. That's 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 the big question for me in this one. But official play will go Jets plus eight and a half. Let us know who you guys like in the comment section. See you guys next video.